Hi, I'm Travis McDonald, Director of Architectural Restoration, and we want to talk about some of the stories in the house, some of the physical stories. So with Jefferson, there are many connected stories to his architecture and his role as a builder. So one that's very obvious is the bed alcove that I'm standing in. And typically I wouldn't be standing here because the bed is between these two walls on boards. This is an unusual feature for American houses, but it's one that Jefferson got accustomed to in his five years in Paris. Uh, after Paris, he also lived in a rental house in Philadelphia that had an alcove bed that he actually measured. And there are at least two other very stylish houses in the Philadelphia area that had alcove beds. But otherwise, it's a very unusual feature. Uh, there's only one house I know in Virginia at this time, in Richmond, the Wickham House, that had a bed alcove. Why did Jefferson like alcoves for his beds? Uh, probably because he doesn't have to sacrifice a wall for a, a big piece of furniture. So in this octagon, when there are more facets, uh, on walls, you can have an extra window, you can have a fireplace, you can have a doorway, and you don't have to sacrifice one of those for a big bed, piece of bed furniture. Um, so the way this alcove works, uh, there's a vestibule on each side, and the vestibule has three doorways. So there are two solid doorways that provide the privacy for the bedchamber. But this other doorway is one of the sash doors, one of the glass doors. Why do you need a glass door here? It's because when you close these other doors, this is a dark vestibule. And light from the skylight from the middle dining room is lighting up this little vestibule. So that's why you need three doorways. If we look on the other side, you also have three doorways. The two solid doors that are providing the privacy for the bed alcove, the, the chamber of the alcove on one side. But here you have a solid door, which is for the stair pavilion. But what's interesting here is right above this doorway, uh, in the wall, Jefferson put a transom window so that light from the big lunette window of the stair pavilion is being thrown up above the bed alcove. And the reason to do that is that up above the alcove is a storage area that Jefferson called a cuddy. Cuddy was an old term for closet, but more importantly, that borrowed light that's being thrown up above the alcove is for access. And this is how Jefferson went up a trap door right here to get to the space above the alcove and then went up another ladder and another ladder to get to the roof, which we know he did. So this alcove on his side is a little more complicated uh, but we'll go now and look at the alcove on the opposite side, the east side of the house. Here we're on the east side of the house, uh, which is a mirror image of Jefferson's side. And so here's the alcove uh, for the bed. Uh, here we can see how the alcove bed is constructed with typical studs. And here's Jefferson's practice of filling in the wood wall with brick nogging to make it more fireproof. But something else happened on this side of the house. Once Jefferson's two granddaughters start coming with him in 1815, he makes a change to this alcove bed by closing up this south side of the alcove for privacy. The reason he has to do that is over here in the stair pavilion, Food is coming up from the wing, kitchen in the wing, and it's coming through this direction to get to the middle dining room. And that's a problem for privacy for the young 
ladies who are sharing this bed. The other uh, reason is Jefferson is walking in this direction to go out to the flat deck of the wing. And to do that, he's put a doorway in this upper stair pavilion wall so that he can access the roof of the wing. But again, for him to be walking through here, he doesn't want to intrude on the privacy of his granddaughters. So this one side of the alcove is then closed in and plastered. That makes this a one-sided opening, like most of the alcove beds at Monticello. There are, I believe, eight alcove beds at Monticello that are only open on one side. That's the typical European prototype. The fact that it's the two bed alcoves were open on two sides, I think is Jefferson's innovation. And why that would be important is to get ventilation, air moving across the bed when you open certain windows in the house. So when this is closed, this becomes a more typical alcove with just one opening. And then later the granddaughter describes this room here on the south side of the alcove as a pantry. And in, the term, in that time, the word pantry did not mean where you store food, it's where you store your, your dishes and your silverware. And when food comes up from the kitchen, it can then be put on the best china in this pantry area and then served into the dining room. So that's some of the stories of the bed alcove here, and they are very, pretty much peculiar to Jefferson, uh, and it's something that he loved and, like some of his other features, never let go of.